We just finished oral exams. It's a little bit emotional. Um, for one thing, it's deeply gratifying that I've been through an entire year from snow through summer and back to snow again, teaching. And the teaching that I've done here has been a liberal arts curriculum, which means for the first years, uh, something like 10,000 pages of reading. And for the third years, I'm not entirely sure. It's more though. Um, the first year is kind of one of the shorter years. It gets a little bit bigger with year two and then substantially bigger with year three because we cover so many histories. I mean, Herodotus is alone is huge, Josephus is huge, Durant is massive. That's 4,000 pages all by itself. And then, um, you know, it's not just that we read a ton of books. It's the discussion. And discussion is not just about internalizing the ideas. It's not just about understanding consciously the ideas of these uh, figures and thinkers. It's... Um, partially a negotiation. When you discuss with people, you reveal not only your uh, understanding, but also your preferences and your character. And as a result, um, that ends up being part of the discussion. You end up having discussions about what triggered you, and what made you angry, and what you found boring, and whether or not you should take more interest. And as a result of bringing these things up and exploring them, and just the fact that they're tied in with these books, I find that your character grows. Maybe it's that it makes you a little bit more open. Maybe it's that it gives you a bit more of a spine. Maybe it's both at the same time, and you have to learn to negotiate between those two seemingly contradictory principles. sunset over Blue Mountain. The Abajo Mountains. Um, it's a really remarkable thing. I, I've been very skeptical. I'm, my, my background is in philosophy and I went to a liberal arts high school and it's easy for me to forget how pivotal these things have been in the formation of my character and also my mind. And then teaching it I get to see before and after pictures. I get to see students when they walk in, and then students when they walk out. And in the oral exams, which incidentally are two hours apiece for the students at the end of the year, two hours being grilled by a panel on factual questions from the books, on themes, uh, on uh, connections that they're able to draw between the books, uh, subjective preference stuff, what they found was most interesting. I mean, it really covers the gambit. And that is a tremendously exciting thing. And what my, my big takeaway here is that the study of the liberal arts is valuable, deeply, profoundly valuable. And the proof is in what I just saw in the last two days, and gosh, what is that? Something like 12 hours that I was on a panel grilling with questions. Um, it, it was amazing to see how much growth I have seen in my students. And that is, it, it's, it's incomprehensible, it's beautiful, it's profound, and it's something that I desire for other people as well. Um, I've been super busy this year, uh, coping with some personal tragedy stuff. I mean, my son was diagnosed with cancer. Fortunately, the news there is tremendously good. It's been the best worst case scenario, and I'll probably talk more about it later. But between that and moving to a new place and starting this job, which has required me to try to keep up with the students in their reading and to be mentally and emotionally prepared to discuss on this richly subjective level. You know, which brings out objective truth, funny enough, but it, it also enhances the subject, meaning person who's reading and discussing. Like, you change as a result of grappling with these ideas and these, these authors. And that's an idea I used to be skeptical of, mostly because I was in it, so it was hard to see it from the outside. Today, I saw it from the outside. I am deeply impressed and deeply grateful for my own experiences in the liberal arts. I am grateful
grateful to have had a, a decent grounding in history. I'm grateful that I've developed an interest in that area. I am grateful for my training in philosophy and logic. I am grateful for my understanding of literature and critical theory. And for my discussion partners over the years, including all of my law school buddies. Um, it's a profoundly wonderful thing. It's cold, I'm gonna go home, but this is a short thought about a year teaching the liberal arts. And if you're interested in coming to the college, we incidentally have a, uh, a program called Micro Semesters where you can come for a month and just follow along with the curriculum for one month and see if it's something that's a good fit. I don't know, uh, maybe one or two of you might find that interesting. In the meantime, good luck and see you later.